Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So I have recently started watching some of my Facebook Lives, and I've noticed my audio is a little um, kind of in a tunnel. So I am trying something new. I do feel a little funny having my ear buds in, but I'm trying to see if it kind of makes the echo not so bad. Um, I did text my girls to ask them to join me on my live to make sure my audio is working. That's why Cassie just sent me a um, thumbs up that my audio is working. So that is actually a good thing that the audio is good. Hopefully it kind of just drowns out some of the um, being in the tunnel sounds. So anyway, hopefully you guys had a great day. I did. I spent most of the day in the studio, and then my husband and I went out to the pool for like an hour and a half. We usually only go for an hour, and this time we were out for an hour and a half, and I got a little bit of sun, but it'll turn into a tan tomorrow. So hopefully your guys' day is good. Good evening, Cassie and Valerie, Marie, hello. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. So we have a small problem with tonight's live. Um, it's either going to be amazing or it's going to be a complete bust. Um, I worked really hard on creating this amazing, beautiful, fun fold card. And as I was bringing everything out to the Facebook Live table, I realized that the dies that I used had retired. So I had to do a complete 180 and hopefully this will work. I didn't have time to make the card with the new dies. Um, I'm just going to wing it and hopefully it works out. And if it doesn't, I will try to perfect it and do it again at another time. Oh, tell me, tell Lucas Mimi loves him too and says hi. Good evening, Anna, Carol, who else is just logging on? I think I said hi to everybody. Okay, so um, just please bear with me. I did prep and have everything ready to go, and I didn't realize. Actually, what happened is I was pulling all of my retired items off of my shelf, and um, the dies were sitting right beside me, and I was like, oh, those would work perfect with the, with the set that I want to use. So that's really what happened is I was trying to be proactive on pulling all of my retired stuff, and I ended up using it. Okay, let's flip you over and see what we can come up with tonight. I'm just going to grab my iPad and make sure we are live. I did hear it ding, so we should be good. There we go. Okay, so here is the gorgeous card that I created for you guys tonight. Um, this, If you have the scallop contour die, um, you can definitely use that because that's what I use to create this card. Um, it is a fun fold and you open it up and it opens like this. There's a little bit of debris inside. Um, I did have to do a complete 180 and pull in some other dies. So we're going to just kind of be patient and hopefully it works with no glitches. But this is what I wanted to show you. Um, I did do it as a happy birthday instead of using the sentiments that were in the set. But let me bring in... So I've used this the last couple weeks, and this is my featured class to go for next month. Um, I do have a few spots left. The bundle does not come with it, but you do get the designer series paper, the, um, the gems, and some a big bolt of ribbon. So that's what comes in the class for next month. And I am bringing in these new dies. They are called Stylus Shapes. So you get the squares, the circles, and the banners. Um, we are going to be using the three largest squares. Well, cross our fingers, we're gonna be using those three. Um, let me just show you a couple other things. Good evening, Heather and Jill, Kathy, hello. Okay, so in the catalog, um, many scrapbookers know this, but um, we have 12 by 12 designer series paper. Or, I'm sorry, all of our designer series paper is 12 by 12, but we have cardstock that is also 12 by 12. Um, in the holiday catalog, they just came out with the basic black 12 by 12. Definitely don't walk or run as soon as that catalog goes live and make sure to stock up on that because we don't carry it very often. But this is the new 2022 to 2024 in colors, and you get four sheets of each of the five colors. 
So that is what we're using because the card we're doing is with a 12 by 12 piece. It's actually five and a half by 12, but um, you can get two cards out of one sheet. Okay, let's bring in all of the goodies. We're only making one tonight, um, just because we're doing this from start to finish. And I didn't want to take up a lot of everybody's time. Okay, so here is, this is um, Starry Sky, and it measures five and a half by 12. So we're gonna put the 12 inch side up at the top, and we're gonna score this three times. We're gonna score this at four and a quarter, eight and a half, and ten and a quarter. Oh, is it ten and a half or ten and a quarter? Oh, hold that thought for some reason. I think I just had a bit of a brain fart. Oh, nope, I was right. It is ten and a quarter. I shouldn't second guess myself sometimes. Okay, so that is all we need for the scoring. So we're going to go ahead and um, fold and give this a good crease. And we're going to fold on these two lines as well. So this first line, we're just going to fold backwards. So this is our mechanism to do our fun fold. So let me set that aside for a second. And I want to bring in some of the designer series paper. So the designer series paper, we have one piece that is cut three and three fourths by five. And then we have one piece that is cut one and a half by five and a quarter. So this one and a half by five and a quarter piece is going to go right here on the edge. And this is going to be the front of our card. I did put in the description that you do need a piece of um, coordinating cardstock. And this measures four by five and a quarter. So my original plan was I was going to take a larger die and cut the center out of this. But because we're using all three of these dies and there isn't one larger, I just went in and took a big chunk out of the center. I just left enough edging for this to peek around the edge. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I just wanted the center gone because when I run the dies through, it's not going to cut through two pieces of cardstock and a piece of designer series paper. So I just cut the center out to eliminate um, the die not fitting. Okay, so let's start by gluing this to here. So what you want to do is you only want to put adhesive on the edge. And you can use um, any adhesive you want, but just stay away from the center. Don't put anything in there. And then we're just going to go ahead and glue this down. Just making sure you have equal um, on all your sides, on all four sides. And then we're going to bring in our card base. So I went ahead and opened this up because this is our front flap. And I want to go ahead and glue this down to our front flap. I know it sounds a little crazy, but we are going to glue before we cut. So again, I'm just going to put adhesive on the outer side. I'm not going to do anything in the center. So we're going to line that up. Perfect. And then let's bring in our embossing machine. And we are going to take the largest square. And you could use the circles as well. And we're just going to line this up in the center. But first, I'm going to just bend this back a tiny bit just so it lays a little bit flatter on my embossing machine. So I'm going to set this in the center. And remember when I said I cut that center out of um, the, uh, oh, I just lost the name of that cardstock. Um, I did that because I didn't think the die would fit through all of it. So we're going to run this through. It is a little tight because we have lots of layers in there. I'm going to run it right back through just for good measures. Okay. I'm going to set the machine aside and bring this in and cross your fingers. It pops out like it's supposed to, and it did. Yay! So we didn't glue these two pieces together, and it, we, we will be using those. So I'm just going to set that aside. And now 
look what you have is the center of our little mechanism for our fun, fun fold card. Whew, I am quite relieved that these did work. <laughs> I was a little worried there for a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach our edge. I seriously came out extra early today just to make sure I had everything situated and ready to go because it is a fun fold. And then I realized that the original set I used had retired and my heart sunk to my feet. I was like, I don't have time to do another one. Okay, so here is our card. So I'm going to set this aside and I want to bring in the embossing machine again. I did, I did these in two different steps just to make sure everything was going to work. So we're going to take a piece of scratch, um, basic white, and then we're going to use this piece um, that we cut out originally, and I just want a smaller square. So let's see if we can squeeze both of these on at the same time. Let's see if I can get that kind of straight. There we go. And then our last square, I'm just going to pop right in the center and cut all of these out. And if it's not perfectly even on your paper when you're running this through, it's not tragic. There is no worries. Okay. There we go. Peel all of these off. Get this out of the way. So this piece we're not going to use. We can go ahead and discard. Same with this piece. We want these three pieces. So we're going to layer those. And this is the same size square. And that is going to sit right in the front. This piece is going to go on top. And I did kind of make one boo-boo. <laughs> we might have to cut another square because when we open our card, you're going to see the hole in the back. So let's cut another square. I told you it was going to be amazing or we were going to have a couple glitches. And we had a glitch. So let me just quickly run a square. So do as I say, not as I do. That's the moral of this card. Hopefully it still inspires you guys to get out and create it. My friend Kelly actually sent me a photo. I should post it for you guys. She did last Tuesday's card. Um, she made a couple of them. So they turned out so good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the card. And I just want to put some adhesive right here. So I'm going to take my green glue. And I don't want too much, but I want enough for it to hold it in place. So we're going to take that white piece and we're going to slide it right inside. And we just want to hold that down for a hot second. And then when you lift this up, we can still keep it in place. But now you have your little window. Isn't that super cute? Okay, so now we can go ahead and glue this piece in. So there's that piece, and then our extra piece of white. There's lots of layers to this card, but once you get it down, it is super duper fun. So there's that, and I already pre-cut one of our butterflies. I will say, just make sure that it's not going to go over this edge because it'll be hard to flip it open, but this one fits right in the center, so you should totally be fine. So we're just going to put some adhesive right down the center. Put our butterfly. And while that dries, I am going to bring in our piece for the inside. And I thought I would bring in the Go Greeting set. I love how big and bold and beautiful these sets are. Um, these images are, look how big that happy birthday is. It just screams that you love somebody and you're sending them an amazing card. So I brought in my Starry Sky. I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp it right in the center. One of my girlfriends said, if you had a larger 
sentiment on the inside, you don't have to write as much. So if you are a writer and love to write, you can stamp it all the way at the bottom or use an itty bitty happy birthday so you have lots of room. So let's open up our card. Put some adhesive on the back. Slide this right on the inside and now you have somewhere to write your sentiment. There we go. Okay, that definitely was not as tragic as I was anticipating. It totally worked, but I would definitely recommend making sure that you cut out the center of the um, parakeet party. That's the name of it. Cut out the, or whatever color you're using on this. Um, definitely cut the center out because I don't think the dies will go through three sheets of, two sheets of cardstock and a sheet of designer series paper. And you could definitely put a sentiment on the front of it as well if you wanted to, but I just love how the designer series paper and the die cut do the talking for you. And then you open it up and it says happy birthday. So there you go. So if you have the scalloped contours die, this is what I used for that. So that would definitely work. But if you don't have the scalloped contour die, you could definitely use our new shape stitch dies. Oh, stylus shaped. I was so close. The stylus shaped dies, the circles would work. Um, the squares did work. So there you go. Hopefully you guys liked it. And had I known it was going to go so quick, I probably would have been able to make more than one because we were literally less than 15 minutes on the live and I talked in the beginning. So Thank you so much for joining me and totally being patient. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better, a little bit more crisp and clear. Um, uh, once I upload the video to YouTube, I will go in and watch it a couple times just to see if there's anything that I can tweak with the audio. But if you guys need anything, please feel free to reach out. Card class is on Saturday. I have a couple openings left. So if you're free and available, you can totally shoot me a message and I will mark you down as attending. Anyways, if I don't see you on Saturday, I will see everybody on Tuesday at 7 for another live. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.